Hey everyone, welcome to Nicole's Needlework. Today is Tuesday, November 16th, and it's right around 12 p.m. I got Ginger here. Um, I don't have a lot to share today, um, but I wanted to come on here and um, do the giveaway winners, and I actually have another um, giveaway I'm gonna do at the end of the video. So I'll just share what I have been working on. The main thing I've been working on is I ended up starting um, from Small Things Quilt. And this is, this uses a Jolly Bar from Fat Quarter Shop. I got the kit, but this pattern does come with the Jolly Bar if you just get the Jolly Bar. Um, so I kind of just decided to start this on a whim <laughs> one day. And I have it almost finished. So I just have to put the borders on. But let's see if I can stand up and kind of show it. It's going to be a pretty nice size lap quilt. And um, like I said before, these aren't normally like my colors, the oranges and greens and stuff, but I just thought it was so cute. And I had so much fun putting this together. So these little acorns were just so much fun. I might try um, quilting it myself. We'll see. <laughs> um, so here's the fabric. So there's gonna be um, some white border, the two and a half inch white border, and then this green, and then this would be the binding. So almost done. And um, that's really all I've worked on other than my knitting. Um, I had been working quite a bit and just life in general again. Um, But here's where I'm at on this. This is my sampler cowl. And I just, I'm almost done with this section and I have three more sections to go. And then I can sew it together, block it, and it'll be ready for uh, the cold weather, which has already started to come here <laughs> in South Carolina. Um, so on my birthday, I ended up going down to Camden Quilts, which is near Columbia. And it was such a cute quilt shop. Um, I was kind of overwhelmed because it was so cute. And if I don't have a specific project in mind, I, my mind kind of just goes blank and I, I don't really know what to get. Um, but I did end up getting this uh, book. It's by Moda. I'm sure many of you have seen it before. A lot of cute uh, patterns in this book. This is Cakewalk. And then they had some project bags that um, someone had made. So I grabbed one of those. They had some really cute ones. So I grabbed those two things. Um, and then, let me see. Oh, and then I went, pull this closer. And then I went to, um, I've completely forgot that Primitive Prim Stitcher Society was doing their retreat in Asheville until a couple friends messaged me and I decided to just go up there for the day and see everyone and go to the market. And I'm so glad I did. It was so nice to see everyone, all my Carolina girls. Um, so from the market, I got a few things. Um, the first stop was Faye's booth, uh, Carolina Stitcher. Um, she had, she was pretty much wiped out. <laughs> But I did manage to get this very sweet project bag from her. And look at that lining. Just impeccably made. Just so pretty. And then I got a smaller project bag to go with it. And again, the lining. Isn't that just so sweet? And then I got a couple of her velvet strawberries. So, so, so sweet. And I'm so glad I was able to go up there and give them all a hug and say hi. Cause it's definitely, it had definitely been before COVID since we'd seen each other. So it was really good to see them. 
And so then from another booth, and this was um, Teresa's Primitive Treasures, and I believe she does have an Etsy shop, but I got the kit for this Blackbird design, and this pattern is in the Sewing Club book. So I got that all kitted up with the box. So this is the box. Um, or you, I don't know if it's exact box, but um, it works for this. And that's just some tissue paper, but so cute. I couldn't resist that. So also from her booth, I got um, these, I got a couple of these jelly jars, antique jelly jars and these very cute um, prim scissors. And then she had a bag of buttons, like vintage buttons for $4, a huge bag. So I got a couple of jelly jars and filled them with the buttons. I still have a ton of buttons left, but I just thought those were so cute. And then Sassy Jacks had a booth there and I just got some uh, linen. This is 46 count and it is almond by Silk Weaver. And I got a skinny half, so. Not sure what I'll use for that, but I'm sure I'll find something in the future. But I really like that color. Um, and I also got some of uh, Lori Holt's washi tape in Sassy Jack's booth. So yeah, it was so nice to go up there and see everyone. And I, sadly, I haven't really been stitching. I really need to get back into like a routine of stitching. Um, sometimes after work, I'm just, too tired to do anything, but um, get in bed and watch TV. It, it's bad, but hopefully I will get back into more of a routine of, you know, stitching at night, um, you know, quilting during the day when, I, when I'm home and then stitching at night. Um, I'd really like to do that. Last time I was at So Much Fun, I had these um, mini charm packs in my hand and I put them down. And then I was searching on Etsy and came across this really cute pattern. And this is the mini neighborhood quilt pattern. And it's got some hand um, quilting in there and everything. I just thought it was so cute. So when I went back to um, So Much Fun, I went ahead and grabbed those mini contacts. So I got four of them. And this is Flower Mill by Cory Yoder, so it's an older um, print. And then I got the border fabric that goes with it. So I can't wait to make those. <laughs> it's just so cute. Um, and then they had some, sorry for the bag noise. They had some Blackbird mini charms, so I grabbed a few of those. And this is uh, Autumn Lily. Oh, I, I don't even know. It has a date. Nope, doesn't have a date. But um, I thought I could do like project bags or just find something to do with that. And then I just got a couple more of the Bonnie and Camille. So they have quite a few of these little mini charm packs there. Um, so that was from So Much Fun in Lowell. Um, and I think, I don't know how much I had done of my, um, my mind just went blank. So I don't know how much I had done of my kaleidoscope quilt, but I did get two rows done. Um, I can't even, it's so big. This is going to be for a queen size quilt. That's the first row, I think. Um, Yeah, and this is the second row. But this is gonna be so pretty when it's done. And then I just got one more um, square finished for the third row. Um, so I think that's it. That's everything I worked on. That is uh, all my haul. So now, um, oh, I do have a couple things to share from Fat Quarter Shop. They're always sending, you know, 
packages of goodies. And this will probably be for a future giveaway. But they sent all these um, square and a square foundation papers. And these are the half inch sizes. So they, they gave all, well, not all half inch. So this is one inch, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. So and these are pretty cool. I, I can't even imagine doing a one inch uh, square and a square. I mean, so tiny. I just I can't even imagine. And then they sent a package of Lori Holtz Farm Fresh Egg Floss Drops. Um, they're durable. There's 20 in here. And they're, they are a nice, um, sturdy plastic. And they have the cute bee on there. You can always put a label, um, a sticker or something with the floss number there. It's very cute. And I'm looking forward to trying these out. And then they sent along this pretty quilt pattern called Geneva. Um, there are three sizes, crib, lap, and twin. And then they also sent along the Rose and Bloom Block of the Month that's coming up by Lala Boutique. And I've kind of been on the fence about joining this Block of the Month. This I've never done a Block of the Month. Um, I think this would be a lot of fun to do. Um, the pictures in here are really pretty. And I love uh, everything Layla, Layla Boutique. So, I have been thinking about it. So we'll see if I do that. Again, that's Rose and Bloom. Very cute. And then they sent this um, floss and store acrylic storage box. And this is heavy duty. I was like, what is this? When did it arrive? Um, but very nice box. So I'm not exactly sure what I'll put in there yet, but very nice. So thanks about Photoshop, and like I said, some of this will be used in a future giveaway. All right, so now I will go ahead and announce the winners from the giveaway from last time. And there was three things. There was the Roses for Ruby pattern by the Scarlet House. Um, there was Lori Holt's um, 2022 planner and $25 off quilting services from Keystone Sisters Quilting. So let me go to my page. All right, so the first one we'll do is Roses for Ruby. And there were 336 entries. And let's see. So the winner is Nicole Quiznell. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, she just said, love your new machine and like your YouTube, Ruby is my favorite color. So I'm loving my new Juki, by the way. Um, I've really gotten used to it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, all right, so Nicole, I will leave a comment on your comment and just give me your mailing address and I will get this beautiful pattern up to you. All right, next one we'll do is the planner. And there were 263 entries for that one. Let's see, hit start. And the winner is Mary Willis. And she basically just says, um, that planner is beautiful, love the color. And she goes on to say, she also has a Juki Teal 2010Q and loves it. So thanks, Mary. Um, I will put a comment, leave a comment on your comment and just get back to me with your mailing address and I'll send the planner out to you. 
All right, last one is for Keystone Sisters quilting the $25 off. And the winner for that one is Robin Bradley. And she says, love all of your projects. Thanks for sharing. Keystone Sisters quilting is awesome. All right, so Robin, again, I'll leave a comment on your comment and get back to me with your info and I will send that on to um, Jennifer at Keystone Sisters Quilting and she'll get you set up with that. The giveaway I'm doing this week is from Fire Poppies. Um, they reached out to me to see if I wouldn't mind doing a giveaway for one, for one of their grab bags. Um, so they have two grab bags. Um, one is a Mr. Grab Bag number one contains a minimum retail value of $55 US. Mr. Grab Bag number two contains a minimum retail value of $25 US. Um, so they are providing a $30 Mr. Grab Bag for a giveaway. So if you would like to win one of these grab bags, um, just put grab bags somewhere in the comments, um, only on YouTube. I have had some people message me on Instagram or on my blog um, to enter the giveaway and it can only be done through YouTube because of the way I do the comment picker. Um, there's just too many to um, go through if I had to do it individually. So um, I will try to get back and do the giveaway maybe next week, but it might be two weeks. So. Each bag contains um, charts, kits, floss of varying types, beads, buttons. Some will have needle miners and more. She said it's perfect for gift exchanges and mixing it up just for fun of it. So yeah, very cool. Um, so if, again, if you would like to win uh, that grab bag, just put grab bag somewhere in the comments. So I think that is it. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit and Hopefully I'll be back in a week or two. Maybe I'll actually have some stitching to share. Um, and you guys take care, have a great Thanksgiving. Talk to you later.